What's up guys and welcome back to another tutorial. I'm Seven Beats and today I'm gonna to show you how to create an Afro Swing beat in 10 minutes. So the first step is to adjust the BPM to around 100. So in this case, I'm going to pick 103 BPM. And first I'm going to start off with some chords which are really in the background. So I'm going to use the Whirly and I'm going to use the Burkurly preset. And first just start off with this G minor chord. And right now just copy this one we're gonna use this A chord and just use the C. And right now we're gonna use this A sharp, G and D. And right now we're gonna copy this chord, paste it into this one. So we're going to make an adjustment to the root notes. So I'm going to adjust this one to D. Right now it sounds way too flat, so I'm going to make an adjustment to the rhythm of the chord. So I'm going to make a chord progression like this. And just create a four bar pattern. And right now we're gonna add some percussive synths. So I'm going to use Analog Lab 5. You could also use Expand 2 or Purity. So I'm going to use this marimba and just copy Control C and Control V, the progression into this one. But we're going to shorten the notes like this and just remove these parts and just make an adjustment to the melody. At this C, I'm gonna use this A. I'm also gonna use this F Again, so I'm going to use this one. So right now I'm gonna follow the rhythm and just copy this one. So right now we're gonna add a simple drum pattern which defines the rhythm of the Afro swing beat. So I'm going to use my African sample pack volume one, make sure to check it out. It includes all the samples which you need to create beats like this. I'm just gonna use this one really basic clip. And this is basically the rhythm of an Afro swing beat. So right now I'm gonna make an adjustment to the melody and this really adds the rhythm to this beat. So I'm going to follow the rhythm of the clap. I'm going to do the same thing right here. But right now it sounds way too boring. So we're going to add a melody on this part. So we're going to keep it really simple. We're just going to reuse some of the notes. So I'm going to reuse this C. We're going to use this G. And because we're starting off with this A or A sharp right here, we're going to use an A sharp. And this should sound really cool. And we're gonna create something similar right here. So I'm going to listen to it again and think about what it should be. And as I did right here, so I've added this A, I'm going to also use a G, like this. But this just doesn't really sound right. So I'm going to make an adjustment to the red. That's really fire. So I'm going to duplicate the melody. So right now I've duplicated the first two bars and create this four bar melody, but I'm going to make an adjustment to the fourth part of the melody. So I think I'm going to make an adjustment to this melody and I'm going to add this F. So I'm going to layer this melody with another instance of Analog Lab 5. So I want to add another mullet, this one, this Kalim box. And right now it sounds like this. So right now I'm gonna link all these elements to the mixer. I'm going to remove the noise from this synth. Really 
awesome. So right now I've selected this kick, this one, this 808, and this hi-hat. So first I'm gonna start off with the kick pattern. And make sure when adding the kick pattern, this really goes really well together with the melodies. fire. Alright, now we're gonna add the hi-hat pattern. And this one is just as crucial as a kick pattern. This really has to follow the rhythm of the melodies. So I'm going to create just the most basic pattern, which is this pattern right here. But we're going to expand this rhythmic hat pattern. So I'm going to select one fourth and we're going to add a roll right here. But we're going to make an adjustment to the velocity like this. And we're going to add a note like this right here and also make sure to adjust the velocity. So I think this part already sounds really cool. And maybe add a note right here. Just copy this one. Just duplicate this one. And this is the final head pattern. And right now it comes to the 808. So we're gonna tune the 808. So for us, it's really important to make sure the 808 is in the right key. So how can you do this? Just open this one up in the audio editor. Just go to the flag, this regions and detect pitch regions. So as you can see, this 808 is already pitched to C. So right now we are ready to use it in our track. So first we have to create an envelope like this to take fully control of the sample. So just create a square, open it up. So we're just gonna follow the rhythm and the notes of the original progression. So we're gonna start off with this C and F. I'm gonna use this G and D. So as you can hear, this goes really well together with all the other instruments. So right now it sounds like this. So right now I think the 808 pattern is way too boring. So right now we're gonna make an adjustment to this part of the melody. And I'm just gonna reuse the notes from the original melody, from the plug melody, and just turn it down one octave. So that's basically it. And right now I'm gonna create just a really simple arrangement. So right now I've created a simple arrangement and I hope you guys enjoy the final beat. Thank you guys so much for watching this tutorial. Make sure to download the free FP and I've included the stems. Also make sure to leave a like for the algorithm and see you guys in one of my next tutorials.